sprinting forward and giving back. Let's welcome Jamila Anderson, head of communications for Mercedes-Benz Vans with the new scholarship. We're putting students in the fast track and the fast lane exactly. towards great futures. So tell us more about the scholarship. Yeah, so um, the sprinting forward giving back is our new kind of corporate social responsibility campaign. Um, it has three different categories in it. One is kind of partnering with nonprofit organizations. Um, the second portion is the grant program. And the third is the Rising Star Scholarship Program, um, which is offering up to 18 $5,000 scholarships to seniors um, living in Charleston, Dorchester, or Berkeley counties. That's great. And I love the idea that we're home growing exactly. our talent. And that's the whole exactly. point of this, right? Literally, yes. We, we are very fortunate to know, like we live, we are in a great place, right? Mm -hmm. Charleston's a great community. It's welcomed us with open arms since we've opened the plant in 2006. And we want to give back to our community yeah. and also help develop that next generation of talent and also get them into our plant. Definitely. Now, do you have to have certain majors for these students? Or do they have to specialize in a certain subject? You know, they can study whatever they're passionate about. There's no restrictions or criteria regarding that. They can be attending a four-year, two-year vocation technical school. Um, so there's definitely a lot of different options for the scholarships. We just want you to be pursuing your passions. Yes. And then what kind of jobs are we looking at? So once they have, have used a scholarship, they've mm -hmm. gotten their education, and then what's waiting for them at the end? Yeah. So d while they're pursuing their education, we definitely have op internship opportunities. And Rising Star Scholars will definitely be given preferred candidacy for our internships. We want them in our plant. We want them to come see why Mercedes-Benz Vans Charleston is a great place to work. Yeah. Um, we have a number of different opportunities, logistics, quality, production, mm -hmm. um, finance, communications. There's a lot of different departments available. And why is Mercedes-Benz a good company to work for? I mean, the list is very long, right? Like, the, what do you think of first with Mercedes is the name, right? Yeah. It's the star. Luxury. It's, it's the luxury, right? It's yeah. a legacy of luxury. And we're really, really proud to continue that legacy here in Charleston. Yeah, I think that's great. How long has Mercedes-Benz been here now? Um, over 17 years. Over yeah, 17 we were, years. We were the first building on Promoto Commerce. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. And look at it now. It's we drive so much. past it on I-26. Yeah. It's great to see that and, and to see it flourishing. And I know exactly. that in the beginning, you did have to bring in talent from all yeah. over the place, mm -hmm. but now we're really focused on creating talent from within. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's Wonderful. To us. What other kind of programs is Mercedes involved in as far as the community, community goes? And yeah, of course. So we've been doing a lot. Um, we've donated millions of dollars, volunteered countless hours. Um, some of our main partners are um, the South Carolina Aquarium, their Red um, Turtle Ambulance. That's a yes. sprinter van that we donated to them. Aww. So that's one we're really proud of. We're also a founding member at the International African American Museum. Yep. We sponsored their Studio Time educational space. Um, and then we also work with the Community Resource Center in North Charleston um, sponsoring food banks and back-to-school bashes every that's, year. That's great. So how do people apply to the scholarship? Yeah. How do they get accepted? What are some of the other criteria, GPA yeah. and so forth? Yeah, of course. So they can um, find all the application details on our website at www.mbvcharleston.com. Applications are open now through January 31st. Mm -hmm. To apply, you need a, a copy of your transcript, statement of goals and objectives, some volunteer history if you have any that's mm -hmm. applicable like that. Um, and then you apply online, submit the application online. Candidates will be notified by April 1st at the latest. Okay. So I'm really excited. Yeah, so tighten up that resume. Make sure exactly. you got a nice cover letter as well because exactly. those are very important. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I remember those days. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing with us. We're going to put that information up on the screen. And good luck to all the students out there. This is going to be applicable to the fall semester of 2024. Yes, and we'll be, we'll be doing it every year. Every year. Yeah. Wonderful. So thank you, Jamila. Of course, thank Appreciate you for having it. me. We're back after this. <laughs>